Hey guys, how are you? It's Michelle Urbanowski yet once again hopping on um, from Century 21 Link Realty. Uh, I had to move around my house just a little bit to find uh, and obtain some really great internet connection so I can have this lovely virtual uh, remote location open house. Anyway, as it is, and I'm sorry about the uh, pause in service, hopefully it doesn't happen again. As it is, um, you know, thank you to everybody out there that's on the front line, everybody who is doing their best just to kind of like get through the day to day, whether that means you own a business, small business, you're, you know, um, e-learning, uh, you're, you know, a teacher working on your lesson plans at home. Thank you so much. Hey, Patrick, thank you so much for joining me today. And hopefully others will join as well. So I am right now in my home office and I am going to test out this new technology for me, not for you guys, but definitely for me. Um, and I'm going to take you through a, a virtual tour remotely working from my home of one of my listings because we want to be as safe as we can in these challenging times and days. Uh, don't want to put anybody in harm's way, uh, you know, and infect any germs into homes, especially if there are owners that occupy these homes. So unless they're vacant, uh, this is pretty much what it's going to be like. This is life as we know it right now. So there is one of my listings. It's located at 10130 Newminster Loop in beautiful Ruskin, Florida. And I'm going to kind of take you through it. And if you have any I'm going to wave to you guys here. If you have any questions while I'm doing this, again, um, feel free to ask. Uh, and I do, hey, Greg Yo, and I do really appreciate that. So anyway, the new technology I'm going over here is I'm going to flip between the slides I've created of the, um, of the house that I've got listed. And hopefully, uh, you know, if I'll be able to answer any questions that you may have. Anyway. So let's see, let me go through the first one and please forgive me because I do have them in order, but you know, again, everything is glitchy and you know, I'm gonna flub it, it's my first time, whatever. Taken as it comes. Okay, so this is our first slide and you'll get pictures in a second. Um, this home is fantastic. It's only been on the market for about 30 some odd short days. It is right on the water. It's got a pond view. Um, the back of uh, kind of uh, backs up to the backyard is all of the wildlife and um, nature. It's fantastic and you'll see photos in just a moment. Um, it is a four bed, two and a half bath, beautiful home with a two car garage. There are low HOA and low CDD fees. So CDDs are uh, something that usually are worked into your taxes. And on the MLS listing, or uh, again, if you're just a, uh, if you're a consumer and you're looking on realtor.com or Zillow, the CDD fees are coupled into the taxes. So the taxes on this home, um, the homeowner paid in 2019, taxes and CDDs combined were $3,885 for this home, piece of land, um, everything, which is a bargain. It is a steal for this home and this location. The HOA fees, which are to maintain the um, beautification of the local parks in Belmont, which is the name of the community, um, the, uh, it also includes the clubhouse um, usage, uh, fitness trails, and we'll go over all that and again, uh, again in a moment, but those HOA fees are only 100, 102, that's 102 per year. That's it. Um, it is not a gated community, but it is very, very, um, it is very, very private. So uh, I'm going to pause for a second and I've got um, Pat that actually asked me a question. Did he have any tax exemptions? Um, it is a homesteaded property that was his ex exemption. Um, he also paid early. So if you pay your taxes in the state of Florida, uh, Hillsborough County specifically, because I can only really talk to this county, um, he obtained a good percentage. I want to say he had like a 10% discount if you pay um, by December. And he did. He actually paid them in November, so he was able to get a discount. Okay, so let me go through what else here. Um, it's also, uh, before I flip from this slide, it's zoned for new schools. There's a new elementary school that is being built literally right on the grounds there. Um, and there's a brand new high school. It's called Sumner High School. It's just a few miles away. 
and um, both of those schools will be opened in August of 2020 for the 2020-2021 school year. So that's fantastic. Um, this home also comes with the ring doorbell. It comes with hurricane, um, sorry, hurricane shutters um, and security cameras. So the hurricane shutters are the ones that are removable. They're not the electronic ones. So those are removable and they're stored in the garage right now. Um, the security cameras are there. They're there for the ADT service. So if you wanted the service, all you would have to do is just start up the service. They don't have to do any more installation on anything. Um, because you've got the cameras already there and the ring doorbell um, ring doorbell is totally free uh, you can just download the app I have it I'm um, my goodness so many people have it now if you want ring doorbell to have some uh, additional features like holding on to your video for a certain amount of time then um, what was I gonna say then you could pretty much uh, add on to your service there okay and this home is being offered all for two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars OMG folks really when you see this home um, if you have any questions about financing this home actually qualifies for US 100% USDA financing so regarding financing um, I could definitely put you in touch with a great lender or a bunch of great lenders that I work with um, but the home has to has to qualify for it as well as the occupant Okay, so what I can tell you a little bit, and I did write some notes here, okay? So what I can tell you about USDA is that it's a mortgage loan that's offered to uh, rural or suburban property owners um, by the US Department of Agriculture. So it, for the home, it has to be in a particular area. This area, although it's new development, um, the home is only four years old too, by the way, folks. Uh, although it's new development, it is in an area that qualifies 100% for USDA financing. So you would have to just see um, if uh, they would look at your income and your income stability. Um, you need to meet a minimum credit score. Uh, but if all of, if you meet all of those eligibility requirements, you're basically able to get a low interest mortgage uh, along with some maybe uh, down payment assistance. So if you want more information on USDA financing or any home loan financing, contact me. I'll put you in touch with my lenders. If you want to see if this home is eligible for down payment assistance, which it is, go to my website, flhomesbymichelle.com. Hey there, Danielle, um, flhomesbymichelle.com. And under resources, you can pull down the menu or click on the pull down menu and you'll see down payment assistance resource. And you can plug in your information and see if you know it's available there, okay? So I'm gonna flip through and forgive me guys, now this is my first time I'm flipping through this, okay? So I'm gonna try to swipe. Let's see if I could swipe it. Nope, can't swipe it. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. These are the pictures just of the um, the front of uh, the front elevation. It's got paved entryway, the um, paved walkway, as long as well as the um, brick paver on the driveway. Many homes in this development, and again, it looks brand new because it pretty much almost is. It's four years old. Many homes in the development do have the paver driveway though. I think it was an upgrade when it was built. These are the first owners of this home. However, because of a relocation, uh, these folks are active military, because of relocation, they came to Ruskin. Um, the home was already built, so it was like a spec home. Um, but people who had homes built in this community, they had an option. Thank goodness this one, it's got the paver um, driveway and it's got the paver entry uh, walkway. It's beautiful, actually beautiful. So it's also got the lush greenery. Notice how it's got um, uh, very mature landscaping, the palm trees. You know what, I'm from Jersey, I'm a Jersey girl at heart, and my whole thing was I wanted a house that already had a palm tree. If I'm moving to Florida, I want a palm tree, and this home definitely has it. It certainly does not disappoint. Guys, don't forget, if you want, as I'm talking, if I'm going too fast, definitely let me know. If you want me to slow down, let me know. And if you have questions, definitely let me know. Okay, so the house is also on a loop, which means there's only one entrance and exit to this um, particular neighborhood within this community. So you've got a tight-knit group of neighbors that watch out for each other. Um, you've got kids that play on the street. Uh, and you basically got very low traffic on the streets. So you're only going there if it's a delivery person um, or if you basically are visiting or if you are a homeowner there. 
Um, I walked up and down this street many times and people were just truly so friendly. And if, if you understand this, you understand that neighbors, great neighbors are purely like gold. They are like gold. And that's what this neighborhood has, okay? So let me go on to my next slide. This actually talks about the upgrades that were already in um, this wonderful house. So this kitchen is definitely upgraded and updated. You'll notice that the kitchen has 42 inch staggered cabinets and they've got crown molding on them. It's got stainless steel appliances and it's also got a beautiful neutral tone, like a stone uh, granite countertop. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I think I said stainless steel appliances. I do apologize about that. It's got recessed lighting that you can see, but it's also got natural lighting. Take a look at that window. Um, it's hard for me to point to it, but take a look at that window to the left of the kitchen. That window, as well as the window in the family room where you see the couch, those are views of the pond, the tranquil, serene pond, um, just absolutely fantastic. And you can see the dining room with the drop chandelier is right off of that kitchen and family room. And it's actually making it for a huge, nice open concept, open um, plan layout. The island also has room for bar stools. They've got some oversized bar stools there. You can certainly fit two. If you have a smaller one, you could probably fit three. Um, so that is your kitchen, and I love it because this is just my style. It's a darker kitchen. Um, if you're looking for a lighter kitchen, you know what you do? You add a backsplash. You just have to have a little bit of vision. You add a backsplash of a, a lighter tone, and boom, there you go. Okay, uh, let's see. I am gonna go through the next slide right here. My next slide is highlighting specifically the master suite. Um, the master suite has its own master hallway uh, apart from everybody else. So this is, to me, this is a typical Northeast layout. The master um, for Florida, a, a lot of people uh, do um, look for or you know are curious is the master suite downstairs. Many layouts are, this particular one is not. So this I call it a Northeast home only because you've got your common areas on the bottom level on the first floor. We don't have basements, okay? We've got nice attics um, and lots of attic space here in Florida. But then when you go on the second level, you've got four full bedrooms along with two full bathrooms. And I'll tell you more about what's on the first floor when we get kind of back down to it. And I'm sorry, I'm skipping around. I do apologize about that, guys. Okay, so anyway, we've got your master suite. So it's a pretty long hallway, and it's a master bathroom, your ensuite, which has its own separate water closet with a door for privacy. You've got a linen closet there. You can see the separate garden tub and the stand-up uh, shower with the um, glass enclosure. It's double sinks. Um, granite, uh, the counters, as well as the dark wood cabinets, they do match the kitchen downstairs. So it's exactly the same, um, not the same layout, the same materials that are used, okay? And the nice big tile that's there as well. The master closets, there are two huge walk-in closets, his and hers walk-in closets there down the hallway. And then finally at the end of the hallway, you have your very, um, enormous uh, and generously spaced out um, master bedroom that you can certainly include uh, you know a whole wall unit if you want um, a whole TV unit um, lots of dressers and armoire and a king-size bed I mean you've got definitely room to grow in this master bedroom okay moving on we have the rest of the upstairs actually we have a hallway bathroom that has double sinks you can see the sinks there you can see um that the granite and the tile as well as the um cabinetry it matches the kitchen excuse me and that is a shower tub combo and there are three additional bedrooms i only took pictures of two uh, because they kind of are all the same size. One of them is being used, as you can see the bottom right, one of them is being used as um, the homeowner's uh, home office. Um, the other one is bunk beds for their uh, young child, and the other one is, you know, kind of serves as like a guest room or whatever, okay? So very nicely spaced out. Um, I'm also gonna kind of go over what else the house has very quickly before I get into the amenities of the community. So. 
the miscellaneous items that are upstairs this folks this, there is an upstairs laundry room and it also comes with a washer dryer so it's got storage area it's got a very very nicely spaced out laundry room upstairs you don't have to carry up and down your laundry at all <laughs> it's there for you upstairs you know folding and everything um, what else is there is a ginormous loft this loft is 18 feet by 9 feet and it says it's at the top of the stairs as soon as you walk up the stairs I mean you can gate it off if you want but you can use it as a gaming room a media center a theater um, there are tons of possibilities you just have to envision how you'd like to use it um, and neutral tones throughout this entire house actually um, back on the first level there's a powder room which is your half bathroom uh, I mentioned a pantry and then walking down a slight hallway that's your entryway to your um, generously sized two-car garage where those hurricane shutters would be stored um, what else I did mention about the ring doorbell and zone for the new elementary and high school now let's get back to I'm gonna skip the amenities I'm gonna go did I get to the backyard yet no I didn't there you go that is the backyard OMG folks so these pictures were taken by me as well as the homeowner um, during uh, you know typical during the day at 2 p.m. and then again you can see at sunset there is tons of wildlife in this neighborhood um, especially on the pond uh, there's swans that love to swim in this pond um, there's ducks uh, there's turtles you name it it's it's just it's fabulous it's so quiet and you look around the entire pond and everybody's house looks pristine it's just it's fantastic it's wonderful to look at absolutely just wonderful to look at and then I want to go to Belmont these are just some pictures um, it is a very grand entryway um, it's got it's not a gated community okay um, but it's got nice entrance way uh, very welcoming um, the basketball courts and the tennis courts are right on another pond so there's so many different ponds and different uh, water features in this entire neighborhood so imagine playing basketball or tennis having your kids there's a playground as well right outside um, there's many different playgrounds but there's a there's a really big one right outside the resort pool at the bottom um, you can see the uh, a resort pool picture right there so that's the family pool there's also a lap pool that family pool right there is um, pretty new so they just kind of for the growing community they just built that um, there's a clubhouse it's attached to the clubhouse you can't really see it it's there a little bit um, but there's tons more pictures there's like 42 pictures online if you go and just search on realtor.com 10130 Newminster Loop in Ruskin all those fabulous pictures will show up okay so the amenities we've got the pool we've got the tennis and basketball courts um, we've got fitness trails uh, with exercise stations and they're stationary exercise stations so there's jogging paths and every so often you want to stop you want to do some pull-ups some chin-ups some push-ups um, you know there's benches it's all all there for you to enjoy and then last but not least I wanted to show you you know where is Ruskin <laughs> so I've got two pictures here that kind of explain um, a little bit about Ruskin um, the stars on the first map the larger map on your photo there uh, one is Apollo Beach and actually Ruskin is about five miles from the nearest beach five miles you don't even have to get onto a major road or interstate five miles and Apollo Beach has a wonderful um, county nature preserve it is like a little a uh, hidden gem it's um, right off to the side from the Manatee Viewing Center but you can swim there I've seen people bring their dogs there uh, you can lay out there um, right now it's not open only because of what's going on all of the beaches are closed but this is five miles folks and you're right there um, you can bring your paddle board and paddle on over to beer can island you know so it's it's that it's that you know um, easy to get to so if you can see it's just also a hop skip and a skip and a jump across the bay to st petersburg and i kind of put on some mileage there so uh ruskin florida is 39 miles from door to door to st pete or madeira beach um another uh great area uh, john's pass it's kind of like a boardwalk area shopping area um a little bit of nightlife there 
restaurants galore um so that's there uh it's also 46 miles from the number one beach continues to be the number one beach in florida or actually i'm sorry in the united states it's siesta key in sarasota florida so it's only 46 miles a very quick hop skip and a jump right on 75 and 75 for my northeast friends is kind of like um the freeway route 18 uh or it's imagine the parkway with no tolls up and down the entire you know north and south you know of florida it's awesome it's very quick uh it's also 82 miles door to door to walt disney um so it's gonna take you about like an hour and a half or so depending on traffic you just hop on 75 north to get to i4 east um and it's a very easy drive uh so it definitely can be a day trip trust me i've done it plenty of times um or you can you know kind of stay overnight whatever and where else is it from? It's about, I think, if I can read that correctly, about 140 miles from Cocoa Beach at Kennedy Space Center, which is just clear across to the east coast of Florida. There's also Melbourne Beach. Um, so it's really, I'm not sure, that wouldn't really be a day trip, um, but it's you know very quick if you wanted to go there, see what the east coast has to offer, stay overnight, and then you know drive home in the morning. So you can see that this is right in the heart of central Florida. It, lives in Ruskin lives in Hillsborough County and if you could see the Florida map of all the counties down below there um it's just two counties away I believe from Disney World okay so if there aren't any questions uh I'm gonna pretty much end it here get my final slide there if you need me please definitely reach out the best way to contact me is directly through my cell, 732-757-5816. You can text me. You could FaceTime me. You could um, just give me a call uh, because um, home or away, folks, you know I definitely have you covered. So if there's anything I can do for you, real estate-wise, lending-wise, if you need recommendations on, um, on anything, a home inspector, anything relating to real estate, or you just wanna chat because you're not sure which direction you wanna head in, definitely let me know. Please also share this with anyone you may feel or you feel that um, is looking to buy or sell, uh, specifically in the Central Florida area. I'm here to help anybody. Okay, so take care. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. I really, really do appreciate it. You taking time out from your day. And um, this video will be available in my story. Um, I'll also post it to Facebook. It'll be on my YouTube channel. Uh, and also, it'll be posted um, probably in the next day or so to my website, flhomesbymichelle.com. Take care, guys, and I really, really appreciate you being with me for the past few minutes. Stay safe and always stay healthy. Take care. Bye.